Look at how a car works. Them dog from dogs cars. Hey y'all, welcome back to Doug's Cars. I have something incredible today to drive and show y'all. This is a Mosler Consulier. It is basically a road going race car and it really is something that's unseen. They only made like 60 of these. The guy who created this, his last name was Mosler and that's where the name came from of course, was this insane genius type who I think lives in the Caribbean now but ran for Senate in Connecticut and built this and another little thing called the Cadillac Twin Star, which has two North Star V8s. This though is obviously a race car, first and foremost, for the road. Uh, the whole interior is covered in leather. But why? Because why not? And you're not gonna believe what powers this car. It is not a V8, it is not a V6. Nope, you're wrong. It's a Chrysler 2.2 turbo with 175 horsepower. But it doesn't matter because this thing's made out of fiberglass. So they made these from like 85 to 93. Again, they only made like 60 of them. So that's, that's less than 10 a year. And they did make some with V8s later on, but this one doesn't have it. it it's just this amazing amalgamation of off the shelf Chrysler componentry in this swoopy body. And I get to drive this and y'all get to come along. So stay tuned. Let's check out the crazy interior and then we're gonna go for a ride. That's where the door handle is, and it's very light. You'll notice it's got ashtrays in both doors. This is like off the shelf, like Dodge Omni stuff. And climbing in over the wide sill, we've got a full complement of gauges. I mean, there's like an engine hour meter, hey, the clockworks, exhaust temperature, oil pressure, very nice Alpine period stereo. Looks like that's air conditioning controls. We've got the Consulier badge and leather here. You've got high boost that you need a key for and more power window controls here and power window controls there maybe that's power door locks let's see do they work oh yeah power door locks speakers and you can see this roof is removable I'm, I'm certainly not gonna not gonna mess with it because I can't actually drive this car very far and it's only got 5480 miles on it you can see the, the video gauge where you can set your own red line uh, probably best not to mess with that. But I mean, it's all leather lined and oh, I'm getting a call. Hello? Hello? Yes, it's it's hot in here because um, it's 90 degrees out today. Oh, wrong number. Um, but these Recaro seats are awesome. Nicely padded, very, very period correct. All of the, the rushed leather on the dash too. I mean, and just, again, it's just got, it's got ashtrays everywhere. And then you can see right out the back, there's there's a little bit of storage behind you, but not a whole lot. And this pop-out roof, which I imagine makes this thing quite interesting to drive. I just rode in this and I'm about to drive it. So that'll be a totally different experience, but there's plenty of leg room. I mean, um, the, the pedals are in an odd location. There's even a, a Chrysler wipe wash cruise control stock. All right, before I fire this up, I wanna take a look at the engine and show you the heart of the beast. <laughs> and it's a Chrysler 2.2, like out of a K car, but with the, the turbocharged version. So probably more like out of a LeBaron. High tech handle to lift the engine hood. And you can see there's Chrysler turbo. Got an MSD, there's the air conditioning compressor. Let's see if I can, there's, there is a prop rod for this, but looks like it's been fixed with tape. Yeah, so there's a little zippered area here, I guess for some luggage, because the front trunk doesn't have much room. Coolant tank, but yeah, it is just a Chrysler turbo 2.2 with 175 horsepower. And then down here you've got your cooling fans, your dual exhaust, and these look like they're from like an 80s Econoline van. Um, so maybe it's not Chrysler after all. Unlock high boost. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're ready. We put the uh, Chrysler seatbelt on. It's got a, uh, a Chrysler Panastar key. Wait, so this probably goes in this way, right? Because Chrysler key's going upside down I usually. Think so. Yeah, that, yep, yep, I did. Is it filming right now? It is. Oh. Hello, people. Your brake? Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. oh, your brake's on. Oh, it's one of these. Pull there up. we go. No, no. Pull up and take Yeah, I did. I did. No, the did light it. went off. No, it's not. It's on. It's off? No, it's on. See, now it's on. Oh, now my gosh. It's horrible. I know I how a car works. I'm dog from dog's cars. Oh, All right, so you said that the, the clutch is really weird. It's way high up. It releases way oh, high Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Like right at the end of the travel. Yeah, like at the very end of the travel. There we go, there we go, there we go. 
right. Yeah. Nothing coming? Uh, All right, let's head out. No, I, I, I was looking here. Yeah, there's nothing. All right. Listen, the 2.2 liters of Chrysler Fury. Yeah, that clutch is so weird. Yeah, it's really high up. <laughs> and then the brake. I mean, like, I have to actually literally move my leg to get to the brake pedal. That's, Isn't that nice? That feels great. I, I, I mean, it is so weird. I, I'm, I'm not able to drive this car very much, folks, but uh, uh, just because we're not able to drive it very much, it's not mine. I just can kind of do this little loop, but like, this is so cool. You can it's do it a couple so times. weird that like the you clutch travel. Loop that way too. Eh, well, this is the way he said to go, so I'll just do it this way. But I don't want to. Wow, the clutch travel is insane. Like, there's like you move your foot like a foot. All right, I'm starting to get the hang of it now. Yeah. That was okay. Yeah. Now this thing corners so flat because it's, again, it's like a race car. And it's definitely not power steering. Man, there's a lot of weight in the steering. All right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's so weird. The clutch is so crazy. It almost feels <laughs> bad, but it's not. It feels like I'm doing something wrong because, yeah. there, that was my best shift. Okay, good. All right, we'll just swing around down here. And then yeah. Take another run. I mean, everything rattles and creaks because it's fiberglass and the roof comes off. It's just, it's not, it's not like the feeling you get in any modern car. Oh wow, that's heavy, heavy steering. And also it's got a horrible steering radius. Yes, it does. So I gotta, I gotta do the pull up reverse thing. And then, weird clutch. All right, one more, one more pull. I'm only getting the hang of, hang of the clutch, there we go. It may not be right, but it is a VDO. That's true. Oh, man. That was only 55. That's what the gauge said. Why did it feel so much fat lower? Well, because, because we're like two inches off the damn ground and, and it's so loud. This is this is fun. Like, I, could, I can't believe this thing only has 5,000 miles on it. I would have so much fun driving this thing around. I realize it's where are you one of 60. From? Yeah. Well, everything in here is from Chrysler. Like, it's all 1980s Chrysler crap. I mean, and, and it's, it's crap. Because yeah. 1980 Chrysler, we're not great cars, let's be honest. And they had some good inventions like the minivan, but I finally got this. The... Well, it took me a minute to get the, the clutch right. That's nice. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, yeah, <laughs> nice. Uh, all right, that was fun. Okay, I think I'm gonna go and get some air conditioning now. Yeah, yeah I'm down for that. Yeah. I mean, this thing. <laughs> what a car. What a crazy concept. I'm just glad that this guy decided to make something like this and I am so happy that I got to, to experience it because where else, where else are you going to experience something like this? And just mind blowing how cool this is for a car from the 80s with off the shelf Chrysler stuff. There's so many more great things coming your way from Doug's cars. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment and keep coming back because I'm bringing more content to y'all as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching.